Hello and welcome. In today's episode, we'll delve into an organization led by three brothers, considered among the most formidable figures in Britain, a notorious family associated with 25 murders spanning a 30-year reign of terror. Known as the Clerkenwell Crime Syndicate, or the Adams Family Crime Organization, often referred to as the A-Team, this criminal empire was orchestrated by the Adams brothers. Let's begin by examining the crimes committed and key moments in the gang's history before delving into the individual roles within this underworld organization, Terry Adams, Tommy Adams, and Patsy Adams, born to Irish parents along with eight other siblings, grew up in Barnsbury, Islington. During the 1980s, the trio established the syndicate, with Terry as the leader, Tommy as the financier, and Patsy as the enforcer. While Terry resided in Barnsbury, the organization's base was in Clerkenwell. The gang's activities expanded to include drug trafficking, hijacking gold bullion shipments, and involvement in security fraud, among other illicit pursuits. The syndicate also developed alleged connections to corrupt metropolitan police officers, and there were suspicions of influence reaching a British conservative MP. Rival gang members posed a significant threat, resulting in altercations such as the shooting of Mad Frankie Fraser from the Richardson gang in July 1991. The Adams family was suspected of ordering the shooting, although Fraser claimed he had been targeted by rogue police officers. Stay tuned as we explore the depths of the Adams family's criminal enterprise, unraveling their connections, crimes, and the impact of their reign on Britain's criminal landscape. The families associated with various crime organizations, particularly South American drug cartels, have a deep-rooted connection to criminal activities. In the case of Tommy Adams, he faced imprisonment for charges related to money laundering and a drug plot that, interestingly, was described as not sanctioned by his brothers. During an 18-month surveillance operation by MI5, Terry Adams was recorded discussing his brother, suggesting that their meetings were kept to a minimum in 1998. Despite law enforcement enforcement's efforts, the Adams family seemed untouchable, with police, Crown Prosecution Service staff, and jurors allegedly being bribed and intimidated. This led to not guilty verdicts against the gang members, creating a perception that they had undermined the justice system. Tommy Adams gained public attention during a 2004 trial, when he was reported to have attended a meeting in 2002 at the request of former football international Kenny Dalglish. This meeting involved a high-profile deal related to Wimslow-based sports agency, Proactive, headed by local businessman Paul Stretford. Adams was allegedly hired during the deal to secure Proactive's exclusive management rights to footballer Wayne Rooney. In a shocking turn of events in February 2010, a 38-year-old man claiming to be Terry Adams's nephew, Stephen Marshall, was convicted in the Jigsaw murder case. The trial revealed that Marshall had disposed of four bodies for the Adams family, earning him a sentence of at least 36 years in prison. In 2014, Tommy Adams and 13 other individuals believed to be affiliated with the clerk well crime syndicate were arrested in a police operation named Octopus. The operation uncovered designer watches, six shotguns, and large sums of money in addresses across the city. The arrests marked a significant development in the ongoing saga of the Adams family's criminal activities. The arrests made were connected to a range of serious charges, including conspiracy to assault, money laundering, fraud, and revenue offenses. The Clerkenwell crime syndicate, to which the arrested individuals were linked, was alleged to be one of the most powerful criminal organizations in the United Kingdom. Media reports estimated their collective wealth to be as high as 200 million. Reports suggest that the influence of the Clerkenwell Crime Syndicate began to decline from 2000 onwards, with elite information from police officers indicating that the family had been falsely credited with certain acts. Despite such claims, the Metropolitan Police took the alleged crimes of the Adams family seriously. They engaged a Crown Prosecution Service-led team of detectives and MI5 to investigate, treating the Adams family family's activities akin to a mafia-like cartel. This underscores the severity and complexity of the criminal allegations against the family. The arrests carried out were part of a broader investigation into the Clerkenwell Crime Syndicate, an organization that had gained notoriety for its involvement in a wide range of criminal activities. The charges brought against the arrested individuals included conspiracy to assault, money laundering, fraud, and revenue offenses, pointing to the syndicate's alleged engagement in complex and illicit financial operations. Widely regarded as one of the most potent criminal organizations in the United Kingdom, the Clerkenwell Crime Syndicate was reported to have amassed a substantial collective wealth, with estimates reaching up to 200 million. This significant financial influence underscored the scale and impact of their alleged criminal operations. Media reports, however, indicated a decline in the syndicate's influence, starting around the year 2000. 
Despite this, law enforcement took the accusations against the Adams family seriously. Elite information from police sources suggested that the family had been wrongly attributed to certain criminal acts. Nevertheless, the severity of the charges prompted the Metropolitan Police to assemble a specialized team involving the Crown Prosecution Service, detectives, and MI5 to investigate the Adams family as if they were a mafia-like cartel. This comprehensive and coordinated effort aimed to uncover the truth behind the alleged criminal empire associated with the Adams family, demonstrating the gravity of the charges and the determination of law enforcement to address organized crime at its highest levels. Patsy Adams, born on the 2nd of February 1956 in London, earned early recognition in the city's underworld through his use of high-speed motorcycles and involvement in gangland murders. He garnered suspicion in connection with at least 25 organized crime-related deaths over a three-year period. In the 1970s, Patsy received a seven-year prison sentence for armed robbery. One of his notable criminal involvements was in a 1991 murder attempt on Frankie Frazier. As per an account, he assaulted Frazier's son, David Frazier, with a knife during a drug deal, resulting in the severing of part of David's ear. In 2001, Patsy claimed to be living in exile in Spain within a heavily secured walled village equipped with surveillance cameras. Patsy Adams, along with his wife, became wanted in connection with an attempted murder in Clerkenwell, London, on the 27th of December 2013. They were later apprehended in Amsterdam on the 7th of August 2015. Patsy Adams admitted to shooting Paul Tiernan, but was cleared of attempted murder when the victim refused to cooperate with the police. He pleaded guilty to causing grievous bodily harm with intent at Woolwich Crown Court and received a nine-year sentence in 2016. In a subsequent police search of Adams' residence days after the shooting, a handwritten note from Mr. Tiernan was discovered, expressing his refusal to betray his principles. The note stated, I ate a no grass, and Orget Adams to confront him. In a 2020 interview, Paul Tiernan revealed that Adams had been released from prison earlier that year. In conclusion, the Adams Family Crime Syndicate, led by Terry Adams, along with his brothers Tommy and Patsy, left an indelible mark on Britain's criminal landscape. Their reign of terror, spanning three decades, Decades, was marked by allegations of involvement in numerous crimes, including drug trafficking, hijacking, and security fraud. The organization, rooted in Clerkenwell, gained notoriety for its influence, with media reports estimating their collective wealth at up to $200 million a. Despite the notorious reputation, the Adams family managed to evade convictions, leading to speculations that they had undermined the justice system, earning them the moniker Untouchables. The alleged connections to corrupt police officers, Crown Prosecution Service staff, and jurors further fueled suspicions of their ability to manipulate the legal system. Individual family members, such as Patsy Adams, played distinct roles in the criminal enterprise, with his involvement in gangland murders and a myriad of criminal activities. His legal troubles, including a prison sentence for armed robbery and a later conviction for causing grievous bodily harm with intent, showcased the challenges authorities faced in bringing the family to justice. The Adams family's criminal legacy and the intricacies of their connections with various crime organizations, coupled with their ability to navigate the legal system, paint a complex picture of organized crime in Britain. While their influence may have waned in the 21st century, the Adams family remains a significant chapter in the annals of British criminal history. Thank you for watching, and please like, subscribe, and share. Feel free to leave your comments in the section below.